Hi, I'm Denise Boudreaux-Scott, President of DRIVE, and in this time that we're all uh, dealing with so much stress and anxiety, uh, we are committed to bringing to you quick, easy tips that you can use every day. And as part of that, uh, today is day one of nine truths about communicating during times of crisis. So what do we know, first of all? First, that you want to be uh, communicating internally before you're communicating externally, uh, before words getting out about things. So your employees should not be hearing about something that's going on in your organization, in the news, uh, through uh, rumors in the community, uh, on social media. They should be hearing that from you directly in the organization because that is going to build trust and credibility with you. And if there's any time that we need that, it is now. So who should be communicating? Um, create a team. And this might not be the normal team that you have that's uh, communicating in your organization. Create a team of people. And so people want to hear from the top leader. They want to hear from their direct supervisors, of course. But you can also have uh, communication allies. These boots on the ground, people that can help be sharing messages and getting those messages out. Who should they be? That's for you to decide. But here's some things that you want to look for. You want to look for people that uh, are just naturally turned to in times of, of trouble. And so when something's going on in the organization, who do people naturally turn to? They would be a great person to help be a communication ally. Um, people that are positive, right? We do not want the sky is falling and, uh, you know, my hair is on fire and I'm trying to deliver a, a, a calming message. No, those are not the people we want communicating right now. We want people that are going to be communicating, yes, here's reality and here's what we're doing. Um, so we want a sense of reality, but we also want a sense of positivity in there. Tying it back as much as you can to your culture and your values, right? Your culture of teamwork or your values of uh, integrity, um, your value of uh, compassion. So that not only for the people we serve, but also the people working here. Whatever those values are, to you be tying it back to that as much as possible would be great. We're going to give you more tips about that later in the week, but right now you want to think about who can be on that communication team? You might be thinking of someone who's great in marketing that um, is able to get a message out. Um, someone maybe in the uh, admissions office, if you have that. You're all in different organizations, so it's going to vary. Maybe somebody in human resources. Um, might not be the typical people, once again, that are uh, communicating large scale for your organization, uh, but we're in different times, so we need to be using um, different strategies. Uh, and once again, don't leave out the people that are not um, uh, in a supervisory role or not in an executive or leadership role. Uh, so our friends at Friendship in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, uh, told us yesterday they're going to start using their culture committee. Uh, we've helped them develop this uh, wonderful culture committee of people that are just um, so committed to the work that they're doing. Those are great people. Those are the cheerleaders in the organization that can help to spread the word and the message that you want to get out so you have control of that instead of the rumor mill having control of it. Remember, in the absence of information, people are going to make it up. So look for those people. Start thinking with a group about who those people could be, and we're going to be communicating tomorrow and ongoing for the next few days um, how and when and so forth uh, about communicating. Uh, any questions or anything that we can um, help address um, in these communications that we're doing, please feel free to reach out. Uh, my email is denise at cultureoutcomes.com, and I'll also drop it down in a link below in the comment section. Thanks again for all that you are doing. Um, we are so proud of um, how our field uh, is just handling um, what is happening right now and we thank you for what you do each and every day.